Islander 8 uses Drupal contexts to let you determine where and when certain actions are performed on your site. These actions themselves are configurable in the graphical user interface. As an example, we'll go to Configuration and Actions, and here we can see all of the different actions that are available. We are going to customize an image action as an example. So we'll find here, generating a service file from an original file. We open this up, and you can see a lot of different configuration options are available to us. We can tell it what term to look for for the source file, what term to apply to the derivative it creates, what the media type is going to be, MIM type's going to be. And finally, we can add additional arguments based on command line arguments for image magic. So for our demo, I'm going to use flop, which will cause the derivative to be created in a mirror image to the original file, a horizontal mirror. So we'll save that. Go back out to our site to add a new object in our Islandor repository. So I'm going to be adding this picture of two brown cats looking at each other. Quickly give it a title. I'll leave the rest blank, but I do need to assign it a model of image. I'll save. And now we add the media. So I'm going to add an image. Name it real quick to get. Upload that picture of the two tabby cats. Make sure we include some alt text. I have to tag it as an original file. So the action will be performed. I save that. media to the node. Those derivatives are firing in the background. So when I go back to my node, I see a flipped service file. Cats have changed positions because of that flop command. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.